We are in Saint Laurent, about 13 miles east from the town. We have bred beagles for nearly 45 years. And our dogs are primarily for the field. As hunting dogs, they also make excellent pets. So this is our maternity ward. So this is Charmaine. Oh boy, Charmaine, what we got here? Can we see your puppies? They're just starting to glint. They're 10 days old. Puppies open the eyes at 10 days. And then here, this is Ramba. Her, so her puppies are a little older already. And here we have a very big litter. This is RR. And she has nine puppies. We have roughly 70 dogs. And that may sound like a lot of dogs, but in order to have a well-balanced, good breeding program, you need to run various bloodlines concurrently and you have to have a selection of dogs to breed from in a given year. Our dogs attend competitions called field trials all over the United States and in Eastern Canada. And our dogs get many, many accolades. They get many, many prizes. Uh, we win big competitions. The dogs behind me, uh, one dog, Branco's Olympus, won the AKC Nationals this year in upstate New York. We traveled there, it was a long, long ride. Um, it was an 18 hour competition of 10 hours running the first day after rabbits and eight hours the next day. We started off with one beagle many, many years ago. And uh, then we saw, and we hunted over her. And then we met a guy in the woods who had 12 dogs. And we were absolutely hooked because it is so much fun to have a pack of 12 hounds baying after a rabbit. Uh, and unless you've ever heard it, you cannot appreciate it. The sound of it is just wonderful. Come on, easy now. One at a time. This is my little tra tracking device. This is the uh, colors for correction. When those dogs go out, they are going to be quiet. Once they smell first scent of a rabbit or any game thereafter, they will start barking. And by the way they bark, I know exactly where the game that they're pursuing is. I can guesstimate it within the two, three seconds when he's gonna pop out across the opening or something like that. Come on, boy. Come on, hunt him up in there. Oh, oh. Go get a bunny, get a bunny there. Get a bunny there, come on now. Hunt him up in there, hunt him up in there. Yeah, there he goes. You see them? Okay, now just wait, dogs are gonna come on the same tracks, hopefully. There, there's Doc Watson, there's the other one. There's the other one. As soon as they find the tracks, like you've seen there before, a second ago, they started yapping and, and barking and letting me know that they, they're coming right now. Watch it. Just don't move much. He might come right here. Or behind you too. There he goes, behind you. So basically, this would have been a dead rabbit if you were hunting. Yeah, I mean, it was easy to shoot, like, that, like what I told you. Even if you're in a wheelchair, if you sat here, and uh, you would have gotten them. <laughs> I'll let them go for a while, and then when we're done and over, I'll come back and pick them up. Like they, they go eight, nine, ten hours a day. Non-stop running? Non-stop. Because they have water here, they have marshes here right next to it. If they get, get hot, they'll go dip a little bit and then they go on again. So I'll, I'll let them be.